my crafty friends. I'm glad you are here joining me on Monday with a little bit of creative juice in your life. And remember this stamp set? This one was one of our um, celebration rewards for Stampin' Up! a couple of years ago, and it was so popular. Everybody loved it. Everybody had to have one of these. Well, they these cute little chicks have appeared again in this year's January through June catalog. You can see the same little chicks right here. Here we've got the little fluffy, fat, fluffy one. Another flat, fat, fluffy one. And the crazy chick. As well as this little egg is actually hatched into a little birthday chick. So, so they, while this one is brand new and this one is old, I have some good news for you. We have both of them coming back. Well, I should say this one coming back and this one's new, but both of them also have dies that have just come out. Just released this month. We have some dies that go along with both of these favorite stamp sets. Let me just show you a little bit about both. Okay, here's the chick dies. And they cut out not only the stamped images, but look at this cute chicken wire and the corn, a sign, a little stump. You can't really see some of the detail because some of these actually cut and emboss at the same time. Check out this adorable chicken coop. And then both, both of the die sets have some little texture to add to the bottom as well. So this is your chicken seed right here, chicken seed. <laughs> chicken feed there you go or a cute little um, sign that you could stamp on and then for the birthday chick look how fun this is it's got a sentiment that you can cut out a little an extra little chick a bag of bird feed or you could say hey <laughs> and then the little chicken scratches right here for the, the texture on your card if you'd like to now, while I'm not going to use the dies today, I wanted to share that with you because they are available starting, mm, I don't remember if it's today or tomorrow, but I will put that link, I'll put the link and some more information in the in the comments. And um, this is also my three for free February class. So when you buy one of these bundles or both of the bundles, then you get the three for free class free. And actually, I think it's if you buy this bundle, the birthday chick. But of course, you're going to need this one from Hey Chick if you had that from last last celebration, right? Okay, and we're not using the, the dies today, but I am going to show you a cute, a cute card with it. But before we get there, because it's celebration, it's always a good time to join Stampin' Up! But in celebration, you get a little extra. So for $99, you get to choose $125 of stamps, ink, and paper, any of the supplies from Stampin' Up! And I'm happy to help you walk through what you may need if you want to start your own business. But you also get these five sets of, there is a six by six set of designer series paper that will actually be coming in the new catalog starting in May. They will have, you'll get the neutrals and the brights and the subtles and the regals, and then the in color, the 2020, 2022, wow, that's a lot of twos, collections of designer series paper. So you've got a fun plaid, a diagonal plaid, and of course they're double-sided, so the next side has some medallions, it looks like. This one has a square grid, and then some fun stripes. All of the 40 colors plus the, in co the current in colors. Of course, there will be new in colors available, but they aren't spoiling the surprise for that yet. So when you choose to join, and I will also put a join link if you're interested in becoming or starting your own demonstrator, your own business and being a demonstrator, might as well be your own store and save some money, share, share the love with your friends and get some free some free paper. I think this is like a $50 value, so it's a great time to join. We're going to just use a few supplies. I, I lied. We did cut something out with the dies, but I already, I already did it for you. We cut out the happy birthday, so I'm just going to poke out the small pieces in the words. 
You can also cut this happy birthday apart if you wanted it to be long, but we're gonna keep it this, this size. So there's the happy birthday from the birthday chick dies. I have a piece of that designer series paper. This is cherry cobbler, I believe. I want to say that is. It's the, it kind of looks like chicken wire, the diagonal plaid. And this is a one and a half by four and a half piece of card of designer series paper. We have a four and a half by three and three quarters inch piece of very vanilla. Sometimes we overlook very vanilla. It needs to be used more often. So we're gonna use that today. And we have a card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half. Um, very vanilla cardstock as well. So we're gonna fold that in half. I haven't even scored it yet. So we'll use my bone folder. That's our card base. We can set it aside. We're set. This is a super simple card. And the chicks are so much fun. And I need a lot of happy birthday cards. I find that I've run out of cards in cycles. Right now, I am desperate for some birthday cards. What kind of cards do you need to make next? What is? What are you missing? What's, what are you low on? Okay, so we're going to use this cute birthday chick with the balloon. We'll stamp her right here on the right-hand side. And then we're gonna color in, color her in. <laughs> la 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 la. Quickly, look, we're gonna do the balloon in. I think this is just Daffodil Delight. And I used my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Started with the light color and then come back in with a darker color. And you can blend those together with your light one. So I'm so excited about these little these little chickens because everybody loves a good chicken, right? Now I have not tried these cut these colors, so we're gonna kind of play around a little bit with them. I have a I think these are soft suede. That's the dark one, and this is the light soft suede to color our chicken. So let's see how she turns out when we color her in soft suede. Now, you may find that it's easier for you to start with the dark and you and you would want to color where you want the darkest color to be. So like under her head and down here where she's kind of either floating or beginning to take off, she's gonna have a little bit of shading. I wanna do that a little bit right here, a little bit right here. Um, we'll just, we'll say, We'll say that's probably about all. We'll maybe do a little bit right here. Okay, then come back with your light color. So I'm just gonna tie out, I adhered my uh, designer series paper. We're gonna just tie a little ribbon. So then we have most of this finished. I'm going to just put on our happy birthday greeting. And I, when I cut this out, I actually used our adhesive sheets. I put the adhesive sheets on the back of the vanilla paper before I cut it out so that putting it on is super easy. You just have to take the backing off and it actually had this piece of paper had a stamp on it, but you can use both sides. So there you go. And that's ready to put onto our card. We're gonna just put it all the way to the left side and that will give it a half inch border all the way around. Now you could also put this on with dimensionals so that you've got a little dimensional, but it gives it just kind of a frame a tone-on-tone -tone frame, and there is our quick, fast, happy birthday card.